Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. I have some empties to share with you. So I'm going to start with um, my non-wax items. I don't have anything organized per usual. So I did finish a candle from Bath and Body Works, an iced lemon pound cake. And this just went right into the candle crock. Um, and it did fairly well. I kept this on, I had a lot of scents that were, you know, that complemented having a lemon pound cake scent going. Um, I only have one crock. Thank you to Diane for gifting me that. And I'm really loving it. Um, it's nice not to have to worry about burning a candle or, you know, letting it go for four hours and blowing it out. And I don't know, I don't like stuff like all on my counters. <laughs> And then switching and lighting another candle and plus I just don't the more and more I burn Bath and Body Works uh, the less impressed I am with it it just that kerosene note comes on sooner and sooner and I just I'm not saying that I'm never gonna light a candle but having this in the crock turning it on when I wanted it to letting it go for as long as I wanted to I enjoyed so iced lemon pound cake was sugary glazed icing, pure lemon zest, and fluffy pound cake, and whipped cream. So I didn't really get like a bakery note per se. This was just a zesty, zesty lemon, which I enjoy. It is definitely a fresh lemon, not a, I'm trying to think, like pine salt pledge. It's not like a cleaner lemon at all. And I really enjoyed this and I warmed this so much that I probably even warmed it after it lost scent, um, that it is finally done. hundred percent got my money's worth. I don't know if it would be a repurchase. Um, I would probably just buy lemon wax. Um, it wasn't anything, you know, special. I don't, I don't mean that in a bad way. It's just, it's a very common <laughs> scent. Went through a couple hand soaps um, from the aromatherapy line, orange, ginger, which I know I did this candle. I love the smell of this. Oh my gosh, it's, this is just, I would say that you don't even really have to like ginger for this. This is orange oil and ginger oil. What does it say? Vitamin E and shea. I just, I don't know. This is invigorating. It's got a little pop to it. This stays on your hands and um, will always be repurchased. I really do like their aromatherapy line. Then in my kitchen, I used up Moonflower Petals. I had never had this before. This is the foaming hand soap also. That one was as well, I believe. Okay, and this is Sparkling Bergamot Moonlit. I think that's what that says. Sorry. Moonlit bouquets and warm musk. I loved this. Oh my gosh, this was so, this was so good. I would definitely get this again as well. Um, yeah. Another one that lingered. Perfect in my kitchen. Not super floral. It was just a very, it, this was a very pretty, a very pretty soap. Again, that is Moonflower Petals fantastic. Um, what else do I have that is non-wax? I went through a counter clean from Scentsy in Vanilla Mint. Love, love, love the counter clean. Um, not only for my counters, I have a glass stove top for that, for my stainless steel. It works fabulous. Spots on the carpet. Great. Um, my, the kids carpet in their bedroom is like an off white, I'm going to say like a light beige. So everything shows up on that. My youngest cut his foot and I guess didn't totally realize it. So there was, you know, little blood pattern going on in his room. The stuff got it right out. Barely even had to scrub. Love this. Didn't think that I had more vanilla mint and my sister-in-law really liked this because we were using this when she was here. Um, and I had another bottle of it, so 
she will get to. She's never used the Scentsy cleaning stuff. She enjoys the Scentsy laundry. So, and I do have another one. That's one of my most favorites. Then I used up a Freshen Up Pup dog deodorizing spray, Sweet Pea and Shea. I feel like I mostly go through these in the warmer months because Willow loves to swim in our pool. And when I'm drying her off, I spray her and towel, towel dry her so she doesn't smell like wet dog. Um, yes, so enjoy this. And finished up a Scent Soft in Fluffy Fleece, which is my most favorite. Oh, it's so good. Um, like I've said before, I don't use Scent Soft on everything. I will use it on blankets and sheets. I'm not really using it on towels. I tend to use vinegar on the towels, but I will on occasion use this on towels. And then the boys like white socks because I bleach them. And then um, I use the uh, scent soft on that. So I don't go through this a ton. I have it. Oops. I have never, ever been a fabric softener person until Sensi. I just never bought it. I don't use it. So as sad as it is that we can't really get this, um, it it's like one last step of stuff for me to put in the washing machine. So I wouldn't be devastated. I truly, truly enjoy it now that I've gotten used to it. But I never, like in the grocery store, buy um, fabric softener. I think it also depends like how you were brought up. Like my mom never used it. <laughs> so I just, it just isn't something, but I love this scent. Love it in the wax and all of the things that Scentsy um, brings it to us in. And there's little indentations from squeezing. All right. Oh, and a scent circle in fluffy fleece that is in the bottom of my kitchen trash can. I think that is it for non-wax. So I am going to do vendor wax first, and then I will do um, Scentsy or any retail um, I don't even know what I was saying. Okay, so let us start. Yeah, sorry. This is like I'm, I feel like I'm a little usually a little bit better organized. I'm not organized at all. Okay, so I went through a scoopable from Scoopable Tart Wax in the bird, no, the bluebird sings. This is fresh clean scent with fruit, woody herbs, and sweet floral notes. This was very pretty. I had never had this before. It's laundry to my nose, but a little sweet. I really, really enjoyed this. This um, I used in the laundry room. <laughs> and in the boys um bathroom so i've been working on this for a while i don't when i talk about empties and stuff it doesn't always mean that i started and finished something in the week so that was a good one i bought that from a d stash from devon so thank you devon I, that was very enjoyable went through A scent shot in mint to be fresh. I really enjoyed this. Um, I just hauled from Yummer's Delight, and this was the first one that I ended up warming. I cut this in half and warmed it in my bedroom. Um, and I want to say like two full days. One of the warmers in my bedroom is a Yankee centerpiece, so I set it for nine hours. So I mean, yes, it does. Sometimes it's off for a bit. And I just turn it back on. This was very good. I have more of it. It was a great performer. And um, Yummers overall does very well in my home. From Country Candle, I warmed sweet stuff. And this is, I heard about this from Mr. Kong's mom. She compared it to uh, Sol de Janeiro's Boom Boom. Yeah. 100%. I bought a ton of them. I don't know if it was like last year or the year before. Um, and I only bought it in the the cubes. I don't know if they did them. I'm sure they did them in like the daylights or other formats. 
I just bought it in this, and I'm pretty sure that this is my last one, unless there's one, like, buried under something. But this is very good. It's a great performer, long-lasting, and it's a um, nice, like, dupe of the Boom Boom. From K Scented Melt, I want Irish Linen. I love this so very much. It's fruits, floral, lavender, vanilla, herbs, and musk. Super pretty, powerhouse performer. Oh. I used to just warm this really like in bathrooms and bedrooms, but I warmed this in like my living room and dining room, I think in hallway, I don't remember. This was like an all day into the next day and I could still smell it, but I was ready for something different. I'm sure that this is one that like, I've had it before, like could go days, especially if I do like one cube in the bathroom in the mini, mini warmers. Oh, it's just, it's great. It's kind of like, um, like Irish spring soap, but a thousand times better because I'm not a, Oh, it's just, it's just such a good scent. Clean, clean, clean. Love it. And I probably have more of it. Um, from L3 Waxy Wonders, I warmed Beach Nights in my half bath. Now, I bought her Beach Nights a long time ago, and it wasn't my favorite because I think I was expecting it to be like Bath and Body Works, and hers isn't. Hers is very strong on... Um, like the, what she calls sea breeze, like the salty sea air. And boy, I've really come to appreciate her salty sea air. Um, I don't have any, I don't have any more of it. I really, I don't have much L3 and I just kind of was like, I'm not going to buy because she's closing in September and I've enjoyed like pretty much everything that I've ever ordered from L3. Fantastic, fantastic vendor. Always listening to customers. Um, she will be so, so very missed, but your health and your well-being always, always needs to be a priority. So it says it's a warm blend of toasted malo, sea breezes, and s'mores. This was like days in my half bath, and I really, really liked it a lot. Okay, so I did... bit of mixing. I just need to figure out what it was that I mixed. So I mixed. Pretty sure I did that and that together. And then this, this, and this. Okay. So one morning in the kitchen dining room area, I mixed, um, a sample from the Melt Stash in Cafe Royale, which is Coffee House and Sugar Cookie Royale. This, oh, so good. So I mixed it, so like alternating warmers, um, with the Traverse City Wax Elephant Ear, which is like a cinnamon sugar, so good, and iced mocha latte, oh, so yummy, 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 delicious. And this I let go, uh, Probably like, I'm going to say be anywhere between 5.30 in the morning to 6 a.m. I put it in. I kept this thing. I don't think I changed up my wax to like four, which usually I'll cut the coffee stuff out. But I was enjoying it, and I'm sure that this all this combination would have gone longer. I just um, was ready for something else. And then I mixed, I think, in my kitchen or in my front room. It doesn't matter. Um, from Traverse City Wax Company, brownie vanilla swirl with Traverse City, which this was an older one from when she was Ava's Country Cupboard, which was caramel marshmallow zucchini because I'm not a big fan of zucchini. Um, and this zucchini smelled so zucchini-esque on cold. So I knew, I knew I needed something together. Well, when I warmed these, I just got like a delicious creamy bakery scent. I really couldn't smell the zucchini, which is exactly what I was going for. And this was delectable and enjoyable. From Knowles Farm Scents, I finished up this bag of Bad Blood. 
Oh, this was so good. I've worn this a few times. Excuse me. And I tend to warm this one if my wax needs to be changed like early evening. So like after dinner. And this is like enjoying dessert without eating it. This is white cake, white chocolate, sweet cream, and toasted coconut. Ugh. And honestly, smelling this on cold does not even begin to describe how fabulous this is on warm. Oh, this was so delicious and yummy. Bad blood. 100% would be a repurchase. White chocolate is not like chocolate chocolate, right? We all, I think, know that. But still, when I, all these years of warming wax, I see chocolate. It still does, like, scare me. This was just creamy, bakery. You definitely could smell toasted coconut. It's not just, like, a plain coconut. Oh, this was delicious. And I'm sure that this would be a scrumptious dessert. And then I have a few from Lavender and Speckles. So from her favorites um, sampler that I had purchased a few months ago. And I have a big bag of this as well. Oh, God, this is so good. This is Calm Night. So I've already gone through a big bag of it that I think I purchased last summer. And I loved it. And now I have another big bag. But then this was like the three pieces um, in her favorite sampler. It's Calm Night. This is so fantastic. It's a blend of Calm and Wild, which is sweet lavender and iced vanilla woods. And then marshmallows, vanilla sea, driftwood, a hint of s'mores. So it's their version of Bath and Body Works Beach Night. Stunning. I love this so much. Um, in my bedroom... Yeah, this is fantastic to fall asleep to. <clears throat> Sometimes I am in the bedroom folding laundry or I go in there to read just for some like quiet time. Um, <clears throat> and now that the kids are home, I work a lot of the time in my bedroom. I have a little like office area set up. This is so nice. Um, and I did really, really well and I loved it. Then I did her Frosted Lemon Pound Cake and her Beach Night Cookies. Again, from the sampler of the favorites, I warmed these together. So I had warmed Frosted Lemon Pound Cake because I think I got a big bag of it. And I wasn't getting a great performance from it. So I've put that stuff aside, even though the sampler came with it. These, I don't know, for some reason these seemed stronger. I put those aside for a while and I'll give them some time to cure. And we'll go back. We will revisit. So her frosted lemon pound cake is lemony goodness, sweet lemon pound cake with rich buttercream frosting and fresh lemon zest. And mixed it with her Beach Nights cookies, which I love. And I think I bought two big bags of those. And it's fabulous. It's marshmallow, vanilla sea salt, driftwood. Um, so their version of Bath and Body Works Beach Nights. And then it has marshmallow clouds, which... Bath and Body Works type and Sugar Cookie Royale. I mean, you can't not love this. Um, so these together, alternating warmers all throughout my open concept. This was so yummy and delicious. <clears throat> Excuse me. I would definitely mix these um, together again and obviously warm them separately. So that was fantastic. Okay. Then I have some Scentsy left and then we are done. Oops. So I did finish up some pods in Coco Lime. I love, love, love this. I'm not having great luck with pods currently, and I'm sure it's because of my central air just blaring. Um, I'm going to try using my countertop. Is that what it's called? I don't know. Like the larger fan diffuser um, and see if, uh, see if these do better. Cause I'm, see, now I'm still smelling scents. This has been sitting in here for a few days because I can't smell it anymore. This, I may pop these in my linen closet and see. So love, Coco Lime's one of my most favorite scents, especially for the summer from Scentsy. Banger performer in wax. This thing comes out like hot and heavy, like the, for the first two days in the fan diffuser. And then it um, kind of peters out, sadly. So I'm gonna... Just stick these in here, like take them out and stick them in my linen closet and see if that does anything. 
from Berry Blast. Love, love, love this. I think this is like usually in the fall winter catalog. This is summer to me. It just is. It's happy. It's fruity, but it's a, it's like a pretty fruity, not like juvenile candy fruity. And it's soft vanilla and cranberry and sugar, which cranberry, yes, I definitely associate that with fall and winter. This isn't cranberry to me. It's just a yummy, happy, strong, like, fruity scent. And I love it. And it's not available. Mint to be Mary. I was craving this. Again, not... I mean, mint to me is any time. But because this was, you know, like a winter one. It's crushed candy cane sugar and butter cookie. Not available. It's a Girl Scout Thin Mint Cookie. Um, I had some of this left and I warmed it in my bedroom and I love it. I am one of those people that I do enjoy um, bakery scents at night in my bedroom to fall asleep to. I have found I can't do super vibrant fruity um, scents in my bedroom. My brain doesn't like turn off to fall asleep. It thinks it's supposed to be up and doing. So... Um, creme de menthe. I really like this one too. Not available. I did not club this one. I did club Mint to be Mary. I think Mint to be Mary does better for me. It's garden mint, sweet peppermint, and sponge sugar. Again, warmed this in my bedroom and I do really like it a lot. Did well, but I feel like, <clears throat> excuse me, take a sip of this. my coffee. I feel like Mint to be Married did, does better. Please, I would love to know if you have warmed these, which is your favorite and which one, um, whoops, and which one performs better in your home. Not that there's anything I can do about the Mint to be, I mean, the Crumb de Menthe. I think I picked up some in the flash sale, possibly. Um, coconuts for coconuts. Oh, this is good. Um, it's tiari flower, coconut, and I think like ocean waves or something. This is currently available. This is a great summer one. Um, I highly recommend this. Just good for those hot, hazy, humid, horrendous days of summer. Good performer. Wally, um, classified not available. I'm, I think I'm over this. I'm finally over the scent. It's crisp apple, watery cucumber, and dewy greens. There's other like cucumbery green, no green scents that I like a lot better. I definitely enjoyed the bars that I had of this. It's just not unique enough. And with the price increase with Scentsy with their Disney bars, it just, it really has to be like rock in my world for me to like put it in club or continue to purchase. Coco Lime went through two of these. You guys, I just, I don't know. I, I love it so much. Coconut milk, creamy vanilla, and fresh lime. It's available. This, I crave this one. And then this is also one, <clears throat> um, if I'm not sure what I want to warm that day, this is like a good go-to. I have a couple that are like, I know I love it, I have it, warm it. So I went through two um, clams of this all throughout, like everywhere downstairs, and it was great. Um, yeah. God, I just love this scent so much. So that was fantastic. And then last but not least, I picked this up in the flash sale, and I am so glad that I did. My only regret is that I didn't get more than five bars. And this is Chili Mango. And I love it just as much as I did when I first warmed it. It's mango, juicy peach, and a hint of like chili, meaning chili pepper. Um, I'm not a big fan of peach. Mango, I like it. This is just blended so great. I, I love this so much. I, like I'm smelling this now, I want to warm it again today, but... I just changed out my wax. I'm good. I love this. I love the label on this. 
Um, I would love to know, did you pick this up or have you tried this in previous years from Sensi? What do you think? I love it. And it's one that I wish would just be in the catalog because I feel like if people tried it, they would love it. And that is everything. Yes. Okay. So thank you guys so, so very much. I hope that you're having a beautiful day, that you're staying happy and healthy. I will talk to you guys in my next one. Happy melting.